In this question, an instrument is shown in the image. But the question is, this instrument is used for which of the following given purposes? First, let's identify what is the given image and then let's look into the given options. The various parts of the same instrument is shown in the first picture here. There is a probe tip and we can see a rheostat, a metallic sheath, an electric cord which is attached to a metallic hook-like structure known as the lip clip and the second picture shows how this instrument can be used. By positioning the probe tip on the label aspect of the anteriors and here it is a central incisor and if you observe the position where the probe tip is placed, it is at the incisal third of the central incisor. An electric current is applied through the probe tip which is going to stimulate the pulp to bring about a pulpal response. Therefore, this instrument is used to assess the vitality status of the pulp. And the pulp vitality test which uses electric current is nothing but the electric pulp testing and the instrument that is used is known as electric pulp tester. Therefore, this instrument given to us in the question is nothing but an electric pulp tester. The probe tip should be positioned at specific sites. In case of anteriors, we should place it at the incisal third as shown in this picture. Whereas in case of molars, we position it at middle third on the mesiobuccal cusp. And next is premolars. We position the probe tip on the buccal cusps of the premolars. So these sites are very important because these sites are in close approximation with the pulp horn. Once the electric current is passed, it passes through the enamel prisms, through the dentinal tubules, reach to the pulp horn where it stimulates the A delta nerve fibers of the pulp and brings about different responses. First, we should always perform the electric pulp test on a control tooth and in this case it is 1, 1 that is the central incisor of the first quadrant and we should observe at which threshold the response is elicited by the patient and based on that we should assess or perform the electric pulp testing on the test tooth to which the pulp vitality has to be assessed and then we compare it with a control tooth. The different responses obtained are the normal response which is also known as positive response. It simply indicates that the threshold is same as that of the control tooth to bring about the response. And the next is negative response which indicates a non-vital tooth. And next is early response. Response is elicited at a very low threshold than that of the control tooth and it indicates the inflamed pulp. And next is delayed response. We get a response but at a very high threshold level. So these are the four different responses. But apart from that, there are chances to obtain false positive and false negative responses in electric pulp testing. Therefore, when it comes to electric pulp testing, first and foremost, we should be able to identify the instrument. And these are the different parts, probe tip, rheostat and lip clip. What is the function of lip clip? It is to complete the circuit because the current is passing from the electrode and it should be brought back to the electrode itself and that is achieved by using lip clip. And next important one is the site. We should be familiar with the site at which the probe tip should be positioned and next is the different response that we obtain. And now getting back to our question, so now we know that the image or the instrument shown here is used to perform electric pulp testing. It is an electric pulp tester. Now let's look into the given options. They are, it is used for assessing the working length. No. It is used for assessing the vitality of the tooth. Yes. And third option says for identifying the minor diameter. And fourth option says it helps in identifying the position of apical stop. Therefore, from the given four options, now we know that this instrument, an electric pulp tester, is used to assess the vitality of the tooth. Now, let's look into the other options as well. The first option says for assessing the working length. What do you mean by working length? It is defined as the length or the distance from the coronal reference point to the point at which the canal preparation or obturation should terminate. Whereas option 3 states it is used for identifying the minor diameter. There are two different diameters on a root. They are minor diameter and major diameter. 
let us just understand with a picture. Say for example, this is the root and the root canal always tapers from the coronal third towards the apical third and at one point near the apical third, it constricts to a narrowest diameter and then it shows a flaring. So, this point at which the diameter is the narrowest is known as the minor diameter which is also known as apical constriction. And beyond this point, the root canals flare out and that is known as the major diameter which is nothing but the apical foramen of the root. And these terms are very important. Minor diameter is known as apical constriction, major diameter is known as the apical foramen. And I have stated that the working length is from coronal reference point to the point at which the canal preparation and obturation should terminate. So, what is that point where it should terminate? It is nothing but the minor diameter that is at the level of apical constriction, we should terminate the canal preparation and obturation. Therefore, option 1 as well as option 3 gives the same meaning that is to assess the working length. And option 4 states helps in identifying the position of apical stop. Apical stop it again indicates the apical constriction or the apical stop created by instrumentation. Therefore, option 1, 3 and 4 are related to the working length assessment and the instrument that is used to assess the working length is nothing but electronic apex locators. Electronic apex locators but the instrument given to us in the question is electric pulp tester. Okay? So, now let us look into some of the pictures of different generation electronic apex locators. And the most important parts of the instrument to identify is the presence of a file clip and we need an electronic device that is with a display monitor. Here the first picture, it is a third generation electronic apex locator and here you can see this is the file clip and this is the lip clip and this is the display monitor. So, here we place the root canal file and we just pass it through the root canal and it is assessed or it is observed with a monitor. The second picture shows the fifth generation electronic apex locators and one another picture this is again a fifth generation electronic apex locator and as we pass the root canal file into the canal it is indicated by color coding but as we proceed to the apex and beyond the apex, we will be notified with a sound. Constant high intensity sound comes which indicates that the instrument is going beyond the apex. And the next picture, it is nothing but tri auto ZX. So, this is an endodontic handpiece with an inbuilt apex locator. So, that is a special feature of this instrument. It is an endodontic handpiece with an inbuilt apex locator and this instrument is cordless. Therefore, these are some of the examples of the electronic apex locators. And now getting back to the question, the one which is used to assess the working length is electronic apex locator and the one which is used to assess the vitality of the tooth is electronic pulp tester. Therefore, the right answer here is option 2. This instrument is used for assessing the vitality of the tooth.